Why, hello there. Good afternoon, good evening, maybe good morning for you. Welcome, good to have you here. Paul Tran, going to dive into, uh, yeah, I think the final segment for this wonderful Home for the Holidays. And uh, thank you so much, Michelle, for that confirmation. Audio and video is good. You know, I'm always worried I'm going to trip over a cord while getting coffee. And uh, we are good. So I'm so thankful you guys are here. Thank you, you like my suit. Uh, yeah, it's a party. Uh, hopefully everybody is doing well. Um, we're going to dive into this, creating a vision board. So this is going to be a lot of fun, right? So that is the plan. Um, there is something on my jacket. There's a number of things on my jacket, but there's also a mic in front of me. So yes, uh, let's get this party started. I'm a big believer in uh, vision boards, by the way. And, uh, goals in general, we're going to do this two different ways. We're actually going to do this um, in InDesign and then also Illustrator. And also I'm gonna share with as, with you as many free resources uh, that I can. So that is the goal. Feel free to ask questions, Bliss. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bruce, I appreciate it. Yeah, I got my fancy jacket on. I'm gonna be wearing it all month long. You're gonna get sick of it. Um, but anyways, uh, you can see in the assets uh, folder, I'll just copy this link. I should be able to paste it into uh, chat. Actually, let me grab my specific one. Here we go, vision board. And like I said, there's gonna be Illustrator and InDesign. Uh, someone mentioned there's some fun quotes uh, in there for InDesign. So um, uh, yeah, there is that. So again, it's a lot about collecting. Cross our fingers images and assets and things. So that's what we're gonna work on, right? First off, right? So yeah, welcome everybody. I'm a huge believer in, in goals, just so you know. Um, I write this stuff down like every single year, uh, just so you're aware. Like here are my goals and this is basically what we're going to cover. Sorry about some of that static. Let's fix it. There we are, full on green. There we go. Um, but uh, these are my, there we go. Good, good. Uh, here are my goals. And I'm not actually sharing with all these with you, right? Because they're personal and I have a, an opinion around that. But the idea is sort of to create a vision board or uh, ultimately get it refined down to goals that are like achievable, measurable, all that good stuff, right? So that's what we're doing. But we're going to start with a vision board. So that is the plan. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. In fact, I'm going to start out in Illustrator, right? We could also start out in uh good old InDesign as well, but that's actually where I refined it. So here's our file. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like the quotes. Let me actually open up that and I'll just kind of uh, take a look at this. This is the InDesign file as well. So everything's actually much more ironed out in this InDesign file, but I wanna show you how this is put together and I want you to be able to kind of drop in your own content. But yeah, um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you like this. Uh, <laughs> Rarely have I seen a situation where doing less than the other guy is a good strategy. Like, guess what? Everybody's trying to win. We get it. Like, I've been playing a lot of squash and racquetball. Guess what? Everybody wants to win. It's just who puts in the work to make it happen. Uh, and that's the big question. All right, we're going to start here with a vision board. Um, notice I already have a, had it categorized. All I did here, by the way, let's just go ahead and delete this. You guys know how to add text. But did you know in Illustrator, and a lot of people will create lines and blah, blah, blah. It works fine. If you can, you can go to the rectangular grid tool, okay? And then just click. And here's where you can define the horizontal and vertical dividers. So it might be set to 10 or whatever. You take that down to one, one, because we want four quadrants, and then we'll click OK. And sure enough, we have our four quadrants. So use this lovely rectangular grid tool whenever you need to make a grid. It's one of those things I swear it's hidden. Like, oh, it's hidden back there. It's like, oh, why are you hiding it from me, huh, Illustrator? Which is one of those things you forget about. Uh, yeah, let me know your favorite quote. Oh, that would be so fun. I love it. I always think it's a good idea to um, have like a personal mission statement too. And all we're doing is we're dropping this in, in Illustrator. This could just as easily be in design, but this is my favorite quote. Um, if you downloaded the file, those fonts should sync. This is Acumen Pro Condensed. Uh, and then I actually have this set, just so you know how this is set up, to all caps. So I want to turn that off. But this is my... Oops. 
So, and a lot of this stuff is not meant to really be shared because it's just really between you and a couple close friends. But this is my personal mission statement, right? Right in here. So let's add Charles Dickens. Set it, he did each single thing as if he did nothing else, which means whatever you're doing, ask, act like that's all you do. So if you're on, if you're in Illustrator or any other app, act like you, you are meant to work in Photoshop or if you're on the squash courts, this is all you do. So it's like doing things at 100% uh, if you can. So that's my favorite. I wanna hear yours. Oh, oh, I love. Uh, Steve, <laughs> dress for the job you want. I like it. Dress for the job you want. I, I, I apparently want to be a snowflake or something. <laughs> or something like that. Apparently I want to be like uh, Jack Frost. Is that who I want to be? <laughs> you want to be a retired NFT millionaire. What's so fun of being retired though, really? All right. So I love it though. I love, please keep those quotes coming because we could talk about this stuff all day long. <laughs> Bliss, you've been wearing Halloween leggings for the past two to three years. Are you going to turn into a pumpkin? <laughs> Joking. So the goal of the vision board is like, have fun with it. It's awesome. It doesn't have to be stuffy. I feel bad that this text is actually kind of lame. You know, it's very business-like and it's okay. But you know what? Maybe we can turn off the all caps, right? Let's turn off all caps. Let's go in here. Let's find a more fun font as I kind of scroll through some of these. Oh, I need more screen real estate desperately. If you need more screen real estate, when it comes to fonts, click up at the top and this is what you want to go into. So clicking in here, I can go ahead and go into script, black letter, hand, or even decorative. So you have the chance to like make it as fun as you want, right? Because again, the, the looseness of this is what I want to convey. So like uh, bellow script seems to do it for me, right? Just making that fun and loose. Um, uh, Bliss does have some pumpkin leggings. You would. Just joking. <laughs> oh, too funny. Uh, let's shear this a little bit. Kind of shear this. Make it look kind of fun, right? We can have some overlap. We can break that border and uh, start to add all the effects that we want with this. I actually took out a lot of the effects because it was making the file really heavy. So that's why I took it out. But again, we can add. Let's add a stroke. Wait for it. Let's add a fill. And this is what happens a lot of times. Again, I'm not crazy about this. Why is the stroke on top of uh, the fill? Well, we just need to go into the appearance panel, right? Oh, yeah, appearance panel. And uh, right down here, we can add a new fill. Uh, this fill, and again, just to show you could see it. When you add a new fill in the appearance panel, it's gonna override anything um, in your properties panel. So like puts it on top. Right, so that's what I've done there. Let's bring it back to that fun uh, pink, because you know I'm all about that hot pink. And um, again, uh, it, the stacking order becomes important. So as long as the stroke is beneath everything else, you're good. You guys get the idea. Vision board, oh yeah. Uh, talk to me. Uh, t -t -t life is trying things to see if they work. Ah, oh, Alyssa, oh, I want to bookmark that. That's so good. Just trying things out and see if they work. Hey, why not? And that's what I want this is to be all about, right? I typically like categories with these. You know how I created this grid, but now we can go grab some content, right? So that's what I want to do. Vision board 2022. I'd probably cut this and put it on a separate line, by the way. So let's like duplicate that. Holding down the shift key. Ba -ba 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 two separate lines because you want to change this from year to year and it's good to always kind of revisit this stuff i'm always revisiting um this content hopefully quality is looking good for everyone i don't know why i look a little fuzzy out there and i don't know why so anyways let's go grab some fun content yeah from the browser where to get free stuff first off there is free stuff we zoom back down zoom get rid of that in Illustrator. So uh, if you go to symbol libraries, there's a ton of symbols and stuff in here that you can use. So if you wanna grab something that is travel related, there's like maps, right? So if you wanna say drop in some map content, let's take a look, you know, and we could use this for personal. Personally, I love to travel. So let's drop that in. There's my, that might be my icon for personal. 
Okay, so we can grab that vector content that's baked right into Illustrator, which is awfully nice right down here. Okay, you guys get the idea. I don't like how everything's in individual libraries. It doesn't do me any favors. I'd actually rather try to use something else. I'll jump out to a browser. We'll go to um, Adobe Stock, right? Go to Adobe Stock, click free, right? Just make sure this is set to free. That's all you need to do. And then right in here, this is why I type in travel, because I want to go places. My goal is to go to, uh, let's see, I always have in this, uh, some of these goals don't change that much, but uh, visit three new countries each year. So that's, that's my goal. And I look at this every single morning. So let's do a travel one. Dropping one in here. Uh, whether you like camping or any one of these lovely photos, right? Since they're free, I can just go ahead and license it. Shabam. Ah, Albert Einstein, Michelle, I am so inspired. I'm loving, am I cheesy? Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say like, I could be awfully cheesy, but I don't care. It's all good. I'm in a ridiculous jacket getting inspired by Michelle's quote and everybody's quote, right? So I'm totally into it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just adding some of these images, downloading like I want to do. Um, so I want to travel to three new countries. And I'll just write that in here, by the way. Come over here. Um, and uh, just drop in that text. Three new countries every year. Which, again, that's ambitious, but I like stretch goals because maybe somebody will ask me to go to their country. You never know, right? Boom, there it is. Since this is a vision board, I'll even pick that playful font that I have up here. So I can hit I and then click and then it adds it accordingly, right? If I just wanted to steal the font, by the way, that's when you go into the eyedropper options and you're saying, hey, uh, don't take the appearance, but just take the character content. Right, so don't take the appearance, right? That's what I'm unchecking, unchecking. It better do all of that stuff. Okay, there we go, boom, boom, boom. Click, and uh, it didn't take the appearance because it didn't fill that in. But that's the idea behind that, okay. Luckily, if I just click over, probably what you do is just type in bellow or whatever text you want. All right, you guys get the idea. Uh, yeah, so I drop a tool. Yes, works out. Uh, visit three new countries every year. Financial. Who wants to be? Somebody said they wanted to be uh, retired, an NFT, retired an NFT millionaire. So you're a millionaire in fake money. Congratulations. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, independently wealthy. Mm, have my needs met and be able to to meet the needs of others around me, right? Because it's not just about myself, right? It's about those around you. So that's what I'm typing in like so. I've downloaded some images, right? And I wanna show you where to get free images. So I'll continue down that, that way. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, I usually put things in categories like this, just so you know, you don't have to. I'm gonna go out and grab an image. Uh, let's grab uh, this one, dropping it in here. There's my lovely image that I can place where I want it to go, like so. Okay. And yes, I can choose it, choose it to fill this space and all that good stuff. But let's do that. Let's take a look, some more. I'm not, I don't like focusing on money because like it's just all about getting your needs met. But let's just go ahead and type in uh, money or maybe what you want to do is you want to save for a house or buy a house. That might be a thing, you know, save money. Let's just see what happens if I type in save money. <laughs> all I'm trying to do is save it. I just want to be a lifeguard for money. It's like, oh, don't, don't go away money. It's like not how much you make, it's kind of like how much you keep, <laughs> right? It might not be a lot, right? But again, just can we can we be financially independent to pursue our dreams sort of thing? But again, there are no rules when it comes to a vision board and that's all I'm doing right here. Just grabbing what I want and uh, there you go. Dave Ramsey put it quite well. Yeah, Dave Ramsey's awesome. Uh, find somebody who's winning in an area and then just do what they do. I think most life's truths are um, 
are simple but not easy right and that's what i'd file that under it's like that's a very simple statement not necessarily easy because it's going to be putting in long long hours but uh definitely simple so there we go boom professional uh what a nft i'm just going to type in nft and i'm going to show you other resources because this is not the only place to get stuff uh but yeah why not let's get this guy license it <laughs> Rob, Rob, Rob with a zinger. I like it. <laughs> I love it that we live in a day and age like, you know, it's like, yeah, there was uh, Vincent Van Gogh. He sold a couple paintings, really didn't become famous till after he died, like a lot of artists, it seems, which were just more like craftsmen. Um, but you know, it's like now I think with NFTs, you can make all this fake money and it's awesome. <laughs> all right. But again, it's not making NFTs, it's making art. It's doing, it's creating things. It doesn't matter. Just create, you know, get better. Um, and then just, you know, see where life takes you. But also I shouldn't say that so flippantly because it's largely about like having, having a direction in your life at the end of the day. So if you want to be the you know, grow as a designer, right? Uh, you know, uh, gosh, what's a good professional goal? Um, I think I love the idea of, of amaze myself at the end of the year based on how far I've come because everybody's on their own own journey. So I don't want to compare myself to somebody else. It's like, can I, can I look back at the beginning of uh, 2022 and just be amazed at uh, how far I've come, right? So this means for me, uh, I know for me, I'll tell you guys personally, yeah, I want to learn, learn, you know, 3D, you know, and feel comfortable in 3D. I'm not talking, talking all 3D, but I'm, I'm specifically focusing on substance 3D products as well as cinema 4D, right? Because again, we don't, we kind of have some modeling software, but it's not quite to the level of uh, substance, or excuse me, cinema 4D. Feel comfortable to, to make anything in 3D. So that's my goal. Always share your goals if you have them, say professionally. You don't have to as well, because I think there's something important that goes for like not sharing your goals with everyone. If I tell you I'm going to go, say, let's do this. We'll do the physical. I'm going to say uh, run a marathon in the fall, right? Because I'm going to need time to prep. Everybody's gonna be like, oh, that's great. You're gonna run a marathon. That's so fantastic. I get all this, uh, you know, positive affirmation. I feel good as if I actually already ran the marathon. Uh, guess what? I didn't do a thing. I just told people I was gonna do it and I get all this positive feedback. So I would say just tell people that uh, can hold you accountable and then don't, everybody else can know once you do it, right? So there's the part of that, when you tell everyone, it kind of lets the wind out of your sails. Right, run a marathon. Uh, I wanna do a Spartan. I'm gonna do the Spartan Ultra. Ultra in the spring. So that's my plan. Is that cool? All right, so we've written this up. We're kind of getting it in its categories. Let's go ahead and grab a quick image that uh, sort of signifies, say like physical. Here's one, boom, boom. And I need to show you more resources as well. But we're just having fun. Grab images that inspire you. So inspiring. Financially free, nothing's free these days. <laughs> Money may not buy happiness, but you can buy a huge boat and park it right next to where happiness is happening. <laughs> oh man, isn't that the truth though? I look at a lot of people, I know not to judge people that even if you're like rich and famous, yeah, I will critique you. But also I don't know what it's like to be most people. So I like reserve judgment on people. I'm like, hey, I have no idea what it's like to be Justin Bieber. I don't. 
All right, so we have some of these that they're not filling the space. We're gonna fill the space a little bit better, right? This is what we're going to do. Um, we do have this lovely grid, right, which we can ungroup. But really, if we take a look at this grid, this grid, grid is really just, actually, I don't even need to ungroup it. This grid, and let me, let me separate out some of this content. And I just got so excited. I didn't even separate out anything, right? Yeah, I, I heard you guys talking about layers in the last session. Uh, with Annika, which is a lot of fun. Do you guys name your layers? I happen to name my layers in Illustrator because usually there's only like three. <laughs> Photoshop, nah. <laughs> or if I'm presenting, of course. <laughs> uh, photos. It just depends on the situation. Guess what? Just like with goals, there are there is no wrong answer, right? So there's our photos. I'm going to separate out the grid too. So let's grab this grid. Boom. Shaboom, shabow, shabalow. Let's take a look at this grid. So you're thinking, how can I have four boxes when really this is just one box and three lines? Um, what you can do is you could use like the shape builder tool or live paint bucket. Either one of these should do it. We'll just go to live paint bucket. We'll just change the color and I'll click and then I'll click to add another color. Click, uh, oh, come on, Paul. There we go, click again. There we go. Tab through, we're actually sorting through all the swatches, but this is how I'm picking the colors. Let's go with a blue right down there. Here's like our four quadrants. But that's how you can just kind of isolate and make a square out of just a bunch of lines, okay? From here, ungroup, expand, right? Ungroup. There they all are, right there. So X, cut, paste, ungroup. I now have these four uh, rectangles. Because I, I really want to drop these photos in these different spots. This is going to be so much easier when I get into InDesign, by the way. I do, and then I don't, and then I have to go back and name them. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you know what? It's like... It's like with rules, like, I think, you know, there's no time to name layers. I'm too busy creating to name layers. Like, there's no time. It's like, I don't, I don't have time to name layers. We're busy creating, right? Make clipping mask. That's what we're doing now. So we have, of course, our squares in front and then our photos behind. But that's how I'd start to drop these in. That's all I'm doing. I'm lazy. I'm making clipping masks. Yes, so I can adjust them later if I want to. Um, but mostly because I'm lazy or something like that. Select these two. Make clipping mask. It's gonna be so much easier when I get into um, good old InDesign. Right, there they are. We have our four quadrants. I only have an hour, so I don't have time to get into like all the craziness of, like, so the short of it is you can extrapolate and say, you know what, I'm gonna make a zillion, throw a zillion photos at this and you get the idea. Oh, Jan just has a few more minutes to be here. Oh, I'm, I feel so bad that you have to cancel your other plans and hang out with us. All right. Let's have some fun with this and this and this. Work it, work it. Okay, so. Wait for it, people, wait for it. The reason this is important is like, I want this to look good. The whole idea of this vision board is to create something that looks good that inspires you more than anything. It doesn't even have to look that great, but it should be inspiring. And you actually put it up. So you actually want to display this in a place that you can see. So there is vision board. Let's take this content. Let's save this. Oh, that's good. You might, PJ says you might specifically name a layer if you know you're gonna have to like duplicate it. Ah, very well played, yes. That sounds, that's that makes a lot of sense, I'm into it. Okay, so let's go into opacity. Let's just change this to screen, right? We're gonna start bringing out the colors of the background for each one of these. 
changing this to screen or overlay, really, um, it's gonna depend on the picture and the color behind it. But that's all I'm doing. If I go into any one of these top three, this is just gonna keep uh, those dark areas and then uh, show the color beneath it. Okay, so go back oh, right over here. The next section will keep all the light colors and then show the color through. And then we have sort of blends, which are nice. So if I go to soft light, oh, that does a whole lot of nothing. That does a whole lot of nothing. Ooh, that looks good though. Kind of like screen there as well. So that's all I'm doing. We got our lov lovely vision board. And now I can start to work on this text because I wanted to darken the images or lighten them and then adjust the color appropriately. So the color of the text. So now that's gonna stand out. This stands out. This needs to invert the color here. You guys get the idea. Let's get into um, InDesign. Can we do that? Because I love InDesign. And really I love, I love using the best uh, the best tool for the job, right? And today I feel like that means uh, using InDesign because I know I'm gonna use a lot of text. So is that good? Something like that? That's a start, we'll just save it. All right. Yes, I want you want to use almost all of the CC programs, but not all of them. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Let's move this down. Uh, let's take all this stuff. It's the stuff, right? We're casting a vision for 2022. You wanna, you know, maybe set up a party at the end of the year where you revisit this. I think you should revisit this as often as possible. Um, and yeah, I'd make this text stand out a little bit more, but uh, there we have it, okay? Vision, we start to collect like everything that we want to do. Right, And then from there, instead of them being dreams, this could also be called a dream board, but from there, we need to get a little bit more firm and say, hey, what are my goals gonna be for 2022? PS and AI are the ones I use the most. Oh yeah, right here, Photoshop and Illustrator, right? All about it. I really need it. I wanna change this text too. There we go, make that even thicker. What really gets to be fun and probably what I do here to make this stand out even more. And if this, if you ever get these little spikes, just go into the stroke and then just round the caps in the corners and that will get rid of it. But from there we can add an additional stroke and this one I'll change to white, right? Now I'm gonna put this white one underneath the black one. Just gonna move that down. And then we're gonna make this one twice the size. So this could be like, 16 point, like so. And let's move that to the back. And we have something that has a little bit more pop and it's like a little more fun if you ask me. Okay, cool. Shabam, vision board. Um, ooh, Bliss is looking to make a uh, switch to substance from dimension. By the way, on that note, and I, I don't like to have, I don't wanna have too many tangents, but I did want to uh, show you, uh, here's the, I, I ran across this lovely FAQ. If you're curious about the difference between substance, uh, stager and dimension. So I'm gonna paste that in there in case you're curious, cause I love how simple this is. This kind of breaks down uh, the difference between the two. So it's good to switch over to stager, all right. Okay, I talked about grabbing images from Adobe Stock, right? We could do that. We could also go some other place. Check this out. Let's go to um, uh, Spark. Let's go to spark.adobe.com. You can do all the stuff Paul's doing in Illustrator with InDesign. That's exactly right. <laughs> Ooh, hey, Val, are you getting into substance, like in a substance stager or making materials? I'd be curious to know. Uh, but check this out. We'll just kind of create, you know, doesn't matter, a new blank flyer in this case. But here we can go over, we can go to say like design assets. I can search for travel. Let's try travel. 
Uh, there's also icons, but if I want, ever want to grab any images, um, let's just grab this if I can. Let's just click to add, click to add, click to add, right? We'll go to icons, we'll search for um, money, <laughs> right? So here, click to add, let's click on this one. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just kind of grabbing a bunch of assets from Adobe Spark, right? I could try to copy this. You ready for this? I can try to copy image and then go into, you know, Illustrator and paste it in. And you're not gonna get anything, right? It's just gonna give you a big blank square. Does that mean you can't necessarily use those? And by the way, I don't even know if I, if it's, if, if I should be telling you guys about this. But uh, that's what I'm doing. Oh yeah, photos as well, right? So we can go and find free photos. Here we'll type in Japan, right? Love to go to Japan. Oh, gorgeous image. There we go, click like so, there's that image. But what I wanna do now is grab, get all the, those assets that you want to use and then click download as PDF, right? So don't download it as a flat file. Notice how they're all overlapping download that as a PDF and take those, use some of those assets. Oh, happy left stream time. L happy left stream time. I don't know, I think you're leaving stream time or something. All right, so we'll jump out here. We'll go to, sure enough, here's the PDF. And then we'll just open that PDF in Illustrator. So here we are. Now we actually have those images. Remember I tried to grab this, wasn't there? Boom, baby. Check it out, it's vector, you're welcome. Right, command Y, we can see. Not everything is gonna be a vector. It looks like I didn't even grab everything when I moved it. So let's group it. Um, oh, interesting. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of cool. It's kind of cool to kind of dissect um, some of these Spark files. But now I have this image. I could take that, put that in my vision board for, you know, financial. You get the idea. Boop. Boop. Right? Cool. Again, I thought that was really neat. Like, look. All this, now everything might not be a vector. This of course isn't gonna be a vector, but yeah, I can now use this, say, hey, you know what? I wanna to travel to J Japan in 2022. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but you know what? There are no rules when it comes to visual bo vision boards, right? Could be anything, right? Notice how there's physical, I wanna kinda of talk more, a little bit about, a little bit more about these categories. Um, and maybe I'll do that once I'm in um, InDesign. So we're gonna go into InDesign now. <laughs> I could talk about other places to get images, right? I typically look at um, Photoshop and using some of those plugins. That's what I use, just so you know. It's like, I want free stuff. I would go out here and use free stock search. And this will search a multitude of sites. And here, Morocco. I'm supposed to go to Morocco too, but you know what? They closed their borders thanks to the new uh, COVID variant. But again, how beautiful is this? Right, awesome. I didn't have to go to all these separate sites. There that is, I can copy it, I can paste it and uh, use it. I can even use it in InDesign, so let's go into InDesign. Here we have this file, which is nice. Hopefully you guys like this. I thought I'd give this to you because I think it's amazing. Put anything you want into InDesign and export it as HTML5. Very cool. I have not, just to be honest with you, I haven't explored all of the plugins for um, uh, InDesign. So um, I'm glad you went over that. That's good. All right, so uh, here we have um, the goals InDesign file. So now we get more into goals, okay? Making them our goals are gonna be smart goals, as it says right up here. Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Right, okay, and that's what these are. 
our goal. What are you trying to do? Specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, timely, right? So you could have, um, you know, sell an NFT by uh, March 2020, 2022, or whatever. You guys get the idea. Or what's another good professional goal? Uh, what would it be? Uh, maybe your goal is to, uh, to be a guest on Adobe Live, right? So it's specific, it's measurable, right? Because we want, you want to be a guest on Adobe Live. Um, realistic and timely or time bound. But this is a good one. Cause it's like, you put this date right in here. And then from then there, you have to figure out like, what is it gonna take to get there? Right, or land a big project. I like that as well. So that's what I would do right in here. And this doesn't have to be goal, it could be goals. Land a project. A big project is vague, but I, I hear what you're saying. A project that will pay what, like six months of expenses or something like that. So that's a little bit more specific when it comes down to, um, you know, what you want to do. Expand client base. So these are all really good. Goals are hard. Thank you so much for saying that, Stoney. You are exactly right. Goals are difficult. <laughs> Let's be honest, right? Um, <clears throat> this one's a little self-serving, let's admit it. Land a project that will pay six months of expenses. So how, how would I do that? You know, and then you start to figure out what is it going to take, right? It will be, uh, you know, update portfolio, uh, make three new contacts a week. Um, partner with someone, right? Because this just says land a big project. Doesn't mean I have to necessarily do it alone. Doesn't mean maybe partner with somebody. So, so that's how I'd kind of put that together. Uh, it's hard to not be vague when it comes to goal setting. You're right. It's hard to be specific is another way to say that. Some of them are easier, like the financial ones are easy like financials, you know, save three months of, uh, uh, of, uh, you want to have your savings account has three months of living expenses in it, right? So from there, we're going to get a specific number, right? So it'll be, I'm making up something 4k. I don't know, 6K? What is money? <laughs> you know, <laughs> and all that stuff, right? So again, they get a little bit more spe specific. Here I have um, emergency expenses. Oh yeah, that's exactly right. Like the savings account, perfect for emergency expenses. Uh, physical, I'll show you, like I've always, my, my goal for the past mm, 20 years, by the way, like I've been keeping goals consistently probably forever. Now, have they, have they been vague? And have I reached them? Yes and yes. Right, but right down here. Um, I've always wanted to be 10% body fat at 170 pounds. It's really specific. But all I do is I just write this down every year. I don't ever really put a plan in place for how to get that done. So, and I will, but I don't know if I actually keep to it. So eat, you, you could say eat healthy, but that's even too vague, right? It needs to be consume uh, uh, 2,500 calories a day, right? Something like that. And no junk food. And by the way, when we start to n knock this down, it's like, geez, I'm supposed to eat healthy the rest of my life? Well, yeah, sure. But all I'd say is like, just do it for one week. I would say, 
eat healthy and consume for just one week. And then just reevaluate then. And I think people get discouraged because it's like, oh, here's the first day of the rest of my life and I'm starving. That's no way to live your life. <laughs> no junk food for one week. That's all we're doing. And then you reevaluate, re right? You always have the, you have the power and option to change this up. Now let's talk about <laughs> InDesign, <laughs> right? Because uh, I have those images re uh, that I need to place in here. What these are is these are just basically, of course, boxes and, like text boxes, for instance, right? As we can see, I would draw out a text box. Here's my text box. I would click right up here, wrap around text box. Bingo. So again, you wanna establish that text box and then wrap content around it. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so that's how that's done. Also what's in here are images, which you could do the same thing with. Click and drag, here's our image, wrap content around it, but also place content inside of it. And that's what these are. We'll double click, we'll double click. There we are, file, place, jump out. Two, our downloads, grab, that sweet image. It doesn't quite fit right. Right click, I usually go this way, I go to fitting. But what seems to be more appropriate and which is like what looks like, is just easier to understand is uh, the frame fitting over here. So that's what this is. Your fitting frame, these images make so much more sense than me trying to decipher um, the fitting right in here. Fill frame, fit content, brain hurts, how do I fix it? So it makes sense. I just go over here, okay. Okay, fill, fit content to frame. I actually want to f fill frame proportionally. But just so you know, that's what, that's why I, th I think these icons are a little bit easier to understand than those uh, descriptions, that's all. Okay, moving on. Uh, let me know what you guys, uh, this is, uh, let me make vision boards on the landing. Oh, I wanted to read that comment. And I'm, I'm, I have 15 minutes, so this is good. Alexis, what did you say? Oh, don't you even. Ooh, thank you for that, um, Alexis. Oh, darn it. From the landing, oh, that's good. I like this, cause I like, you know, I stay in touch with InDesign right, which I don't use all the time, but like I, I use it all the time because that's where my, um, where my goals are. They're all right in here. So again, I can move these around all I want. We'll jump in, add an image right in here. You get the idea. What was that second one? Oh, money, money's overrated. It's actually not, but. Physical, boom. All right, so. These are my categories too, feel free to add whichever ones you want. I'm gonna do this one now, you ready for this? I absolutely love this. Cause if I fill it, you know, notice how it's like uh, fill frame um, proportionally or the content uh, right down here, we could do a content aware fit. So it's gonna be aware of this content and fit it appropriately. So if we click there, it's actually not gonna cut it off. Cause this is, uh, I did an okay job. Let's actually move this over. If this was more of a square, you know, it will either look like this, but if I select the content aware fit, it should actually fit that content within that view. So rather than this, how it used to be, come down here, click that last one, content aware fit, and we're good to go, okay? Um, let's talk some more, everyone. 
Oh yeah, thank you. Uh, try and put some a uh, little bit of a text wrap, and that's what's on these. Like there's a little bit of a border on the different sides. So let's see if I. There is a border. There is there's a little bit of buffer around my text, at least on this side. Okay, but good call. Uh, did that? I think I did it right up here. Did I not? I don't know. Let's take a look. I have, um, yeah. Here's your text frame options. Here we go. So I have inset spacing set to 0 0.05, just to give it a little bit of breathing room on that left side. I could actually do the same to the other side. Uh, no reason why I didn't. Uh, it could also use it on the top and the bottom, right? So click OK. Now we have that wrapping around the whole thing. Thank you so much for that, Steve. Really appreciate it. It's awesome. Thank you, like the suit. Appreciate that too as well. Thanks, Rose. You're awesome. And uh, here's where this is at. <sighs> okay, so. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's talk some more about this. I mean, we could talk about goals. I also want to talk about InDesign because InDesign lets me kind of lay this out. Since everything, it, we have the text wrapping, I could start to determine how big I want these boxes, whether I want to offset them, right? And sort of give them a, a format that makes the most sense to me, right? So that's what's happening here, like even for each one of these. Since these are grouped, right? I've taken these and I've grouped them, okay? And since they are grouped, I could extend or shrink this up to my liking, right? So as your goals expand, you should be able to adjust these accordingly, right? This one does not need to, doesn't necessarily jump into place, but that's why we would need to jump in and just fill that frame proportionately. And you get the idea. Cool. All right. I'm gonna actually shrink this up a little bit more. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more because the problem is, by the way, hopefully you have guides turned on, is that when it comes to goals, uh, there's wisdom in only having like just enough. I noticed for myself, it's kind of hard to focus on 15 things, right? Um, but if I have, fewer goals in here, I, I feel like I become more focused, right? So that's the idea. Let's try to be more focused with maybe less goals is what I'd want to do. Okay, we have this squared away. That's looking good. Let's change this one. And by the way, if I always want to resize this, oops, double click resize just to show say more of this astronaut, I get this little control point that allows me to kind of move that around if I'm not crazy about how the fit fits in there. All right, so there they all are, right? We have our text at the top. We'll kind of stagger these out just to make it like a little bit more interesting. I've done quadrants before, like one in each area. Uh, but that's what I have right now, right? Okay, cool. Um, Wade, what are you doing? What's what's going on, Wade? Loved your animation earlier. Um, I could wear some. I could be wearing. Some. <laughs> the question is, do I have on the full suit? Am I also wearing the pants? Are there even pants with these? All right. Uh, 2022. <clears throat> and here's uh here's where I'd start to think about my theme, right? It's kind of going back to those quotes. So the top of the uh, Illustrator page, right? We had this. He did each single thing as if he did nothing else, right? So that's awesome. So that's what I'd put up here. Give 
uh, I could say give a hundred percent. Uh, you know, which everybody wants to do. Give a hundred and five. Give a give a hundred and ten percent. That's not even possible. But what what is possible is just to do like I personally believe that you don't need to do something twice as good as the next person. It's just that little bit of an edge that you need to make yourself stand out. So I just say do at least 5% more than the next guy, right? When when you're done with an exercise, are you you know, you you've met your quota just like everybody else if you're in a group fitness class. You know, what's the 5% extra that you can do that will make you 5% uh, better in this case, right? Do 5% more, save 5% more of your savings, things like that. I'm getting awfully preachy and I, I apologize. Okay, but I'm having fun. All right, uh, vision. I'll just say 5% more, because I know what I mean. And then I'm gonna put learn. Or, uh, there we go. Just something simple. I don't even know if I would have two, to be honest with you. I'd probably just keep one. <laughs> Label your layers. How about uh, work on spelling, Rick? I'm kidding. That was so mean. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> how about learn how to spell correct? How about you name your layers? How about you learn how to name them? I'm just kidding. I'll stop. That's mean. But yeah, 5% more growth every day. But it's nice that you have this. So I would just jump in here. And the reason I added all this background riff-raff is because it, it gives you a reason to look at it every single day. You can look at this and say, and like discover a new quote that might strike a chord uh, with yourself. So that's what I would do, all right? So we have this set up. Um, let's, we could talk about formatting this differently as well. That would be interesting. I made this eight and a half by 11, so obviously you could print this out. I didn't even finish all of these, but you get the idea. Down here. Um, So this is like where, what countries, what countries win. There's cases where you could knock out multiple countries in one go. Cause there's like little countries in the Caribbean that you can go to um, and things like that. What countries win and then the planning involved, right? Again, this is a living, living document, so it will change a lot. Uh, there we have that. Cool. Oh, voodoo value, two kinds. Um, yeah, feel free. Thank you so much. Val, give me a follow. Uh, would be appreciated. I am at Paul Tranny on Twitter. Also, everything should be... Oh. Yeah, that's not quite my link in the description below, just so you know, but uh, I'm basically Paul Tranny. <laughs> there we go. That was easy. Done. All right. So do you guys have this? Do you guys feel inspired, right? You know, it's like, hey, you know what? Somebody has to take my job someday. Somebody has to do. Somebody has to be the next Steven Spielberg. It is might as well be you. You're into NFTs. Somebody has to be the next Beeple. Hey, might as well be you. They, somebody, somebody has to do, they can't live forever, right? So you're like, why not me, you know? Somebody have to, has to live in the house down the street um, uh, as well. So that's all I think about. And uh, hopefully that helps you as well. So feel free to check that out. I'm gonna save this. I can check out the output, by the way. Uh, right down here, as you mess with this, it might actually give you, there might be errors depending on what you do. Right, so we could open up this pre-flight panel. This is gonna tell me what the issues are. So right in here, there's overset text. I knew there would be, right? We will double click 
And I know there is. It's gonna give you at least one error because this text frame, there's actually more text in it uh, than is being shown, right? So that's what that error is, which means I've given you like a, a lot more quotes in here. Uh, in fact, that's what this little plus button is. And hey, you know what? We got more text in here, right? I could expand that out all I want. All right, so you get the idea. Uh, from there, save it out, it's PDF, print it. Either save it, print it, do what you want with it. Put it on your phone, that's what I would do. Put that on uh, as the splash screen on your phone so you see it every day as well if you're not gonna print it out and put it in your, in your bathroom like I do. So thank you so much, uh, Rose and da uh, Dark Hours. <laughs> Steve, Michelle, Rob, hopefully you appreciate the past week and uh, you've had fun for, with us this holiday season. We're gonna continue the rest of this month as well and just have some fun and uh, enjoy each other's company, get better as individuals and as a community is the goal. Everybody stay safe out there, appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, just appreciate you guys hanging out. My lights are even shutting off. They're like, you're done, Paul. <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning for my master class. I'm so excited. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.